Hey there, I am going to be taking you through how I take notes using Notion and how I organise all the information on my course. I only recently started using Notion for note taking. I'd always used either a Word document or just a pen and paper and I've always taken pride in my notes and felt they looked good but I've never been more excited to take notes and revise than I have since I've started using Notion. You're gonna see why I just think there's something about it that makes everything more exciting, more aesthetic, and once you get over the small learning curve, it is so easy to use. So I'm going to start off just by showing you my main course page. This is kind of the hub where I keep all of the information and all the links to each module. So as you can see, I've titled it BSC Baby because I am a sucker for alliteration. I have also used a header here and an emoji. You can do this for every single page. And I just like to keep the color scheme different for each page. So for here, it's yellow. As we scroll down, you can see I now have all of my modules listed and the term they fall into. Just to give like a super rough roadmap for what is going on and when it is happening. Now, as you will notice on the right, amazing thing about Notion is you can embed literally anything. So I've literally embedded a classical music playlist from my Spotify. And you can see you can actually interact with it and play it. It's not just like a web link to your Spotify. So this is really, really great. If I wanna get stuck into studying, I can just tap play or more likely I won't because I don't actually use this playlist a whole lot but I think it makes everything look a lot nicer, so we leave her there. But now on the left where we have all the modules, you'll see it's just the module name for now, but because it has that little underline, this is actually a link to a separate page. So for example, the module we will be talking about is social neuroscience. When I click that, it will take me straight to that page with all my lecture and seminar notes. Now, I will just show you quickly how to do that. So the way you're basically going to do anything with Notion and create anything is with this forward slash. From there, it brings up all the different blocks you can use. I won't go into detail with them now. I'm literally just going to go straight to the second one, which is page. And it's going to bring me straight to a new page. The first thing you will notice, I hope, is this massive empty space on the left. I do not know why Notion does this, but I don't like it. <laughs> so if you do want to change this, you can go to the top right on these three dots and you can change this to full width and immediately we have way more space on our page. I also take this time to change the font to serif. It looks a lot nicer in my opinion. But then here we can label this references, for example. And immediately, as you can see, you can change the icon. They give me a very relevant one to start, but then I can change this, for example, to this little magnifying glass. Now you could just then enter all your own text or you can use a template which is super, super handy, especially if you're new to Notion and you don't want to format everything yourself. They have so many templates for so many areas of life. They have all of these just for students. For example, if I wanted to get up a lesson plan template, you can then adapt for yourself. And then I could just press use template if I wanted to bring this up. But for now we're going to leave that but that's just an example of how you can do that and actually it's labeled its lesson plans because i changed that template but then you can just rename it if you would like and if we scroll down a little bit more this is now my assignments page i kind of keep this on the main home page again this is a reason notion can be so helpful because i wouldn't include this if i just made notes on word which means that all of my assignments would be stored somewhere else with notion i can just keep all the information in one place and it makes things so much easier. It makes my mind a whole lot clearer and I can easily find out stuff that otherwise would be scattered all over. So yeah, I've just done this by doing a forward slash and then going down to what is known as database on these blocks and I do table database. From here, you can rename it and add as many columns as you would like. For me, I like to keep it quite simple with just these four. But if I wanted to add more columns, I'd press the plus button. From here, you can change the property to all of these different ones. 
For example, any files or URLs that are helpful for this. I could link the marking criteria, for example, or I could add the email of the module leader. But for now, I literally just have it as the assignment name, a tag for the module it's in, its due date, and its status. Now for the due date, what's handy is that you actually bring up a calendar. So from here, I can actually include the time that it's due. I don't recommend this though, because then it's just too tempting to leave your work an hour before it's due. Please don't do this, it will stress you out so much. Take that off, I recommend. But if you want to, totally go for it. You can also change the time zone if you're studying in a different country, and you can add a reminder if you think that would help you. And then status. My term hasn't started yet, that's why none of them have been started, but I will at some point change this to in progress and then completed. Now, let's move on to actual notes. We're gonna go back to that social neuroscience module. As you can see again, I have a different color scheme for this, which matches the little pink brain at the top. And the first thing I do is I include a module overview with all of the learning objectives for this module. So when it comes to writing up coursework or revising, I always have this here so I can double check exactly what it is that my lecturer wants me to know and demonstrate. And then from here, I have all of my lectures. Now let's go to lecture two, for example, mirror neurons. The first thing you will notice is there's not actually a lot of text there. That is because all of my notes have been compressed into these little subheadings, which are controlled by these toggles. Let me tell you, the main reason I started making notes with Notion is for this toggle function. This is something I discovered from Ali Abdal, the king, and this is amazing for two reasons. As you will see, if I click learning objectives, the information is extended so I can see all of my notes for that section, or the objectives at least for that section, and then I can hide it all away. The first reason this is so helpful, as you can imagine, is that it makes my notes so much cleaner and easy to navigate. Before, because I wrote so much, it would be digging through so much information to find maybe one bullet point that I needed, and that maybe wasn't specific enough that I could just use the search function. And it also just makes it so demotivating to read through your notes if there's just so much of them and so much text. Whereas with this, it's so much easier to flick through, find that one little point I wanna read up on and extend it. And the second reason this is so handy is when it comes to revision and you wanna use active recall. Now, I mentioned this, I believe, in my first ever video on effective study techniques. Active recall is literally just the idea that we remember and store information much better when we test ourselves on it. So, instead of just passively reading on, for example, where mirror neurons are located, the information isn't immediately available, so I instead have to ask myself, where are mirror neurons located? This lecture was a while ago, but I know they're motor neurons, so I know they are within the premotor cortex and also I believe the parietal lobule, but I know that's not specific enough, so I will now check. And here we see ventral premotor cortex and inferior parietal lobule. So the information that I did remember is now strengthened because I was testing myself on it and because I'm now actively engaging in this information because I'm checking myself, I'm more likely to remember that it was the inferior parietal lobule next time I test myself. And as you can see, I have just highlighted these keywords. I can highlight more if I show you. Go to text color and scroll down to pink background. Now, the moment you do this, Notion will create this as a shortcut for you, which is super helpful to where now, if I wanna highlight another piece of text, I just do control shift H and that's all done for you, which makes things a lot easier when you're writing really quickly, perhaps during a lecture, and you don't really have time to keep scrolling and highlighting. So as you can see, all of my notes are in this toggle function format. It makes things so much nicer, I'm obsessed with it now, and I will just then include little subheadings to section them off a little bit more. But now, something that I will do to diversify my notes so it's not just all bullet points and make certain pieces of information stand out a bit more, is make use of the blocks that Notion will give you. For example, if we go to Empathy and Antisocial Personality Disorder, I've got a load of text here, and then at the bottom I have what I believe are my TLDRs, so just the main takeaways from this section. But they're still just two bullet points, there's nothing really drawing my eye there. 
so instead I want to do something to make them a bit more emphasized. So I'm going to go to these basic blocks, scroll down to cool out, and then immediately we have this much nicer looking massive highlighted block with a little emoji that you can change. From here, for example, I can then rewrite antisocial personality disorder, impact, automatic affect sharing. And already this just looks a lot better, at least in my opinion, and it stands out a lot more. If you want something that's just maybe a little bit more subtle, you can use the quote function. This just makes it stand out a little bit more without all that color. So I could then write antisocial personality disorder, impact fear identification. And there you go. Just two more ways to change up your note style so that it's not just text and no variety. Now, what you'll notice with these big blocks here with the pictures, these are actually URLs. Like I said, Notion lets you embed basically anything. So when I embed a hyperlink, it will immediately bring up the title of that page and a picture if there's one available. This again helps diversify the work so it's not just all text in one format. And this is what I mainly do for my seminars. So a lot of the time we utilize something called Padlet, which is a cooperative platform for work. Instead of rewriting all of that into this format, I'll just include the hyperlink so that revision is a little bit more interesting and varied. Let's go to this link, for example. It brings up an amazing load of information on these different brain imaging techniques. I believe every color was a different group of students where we include how the imaging technique works and then some pros and cons. So helpful when it comes to revision. I don't need to rewrite this all. I can just immediately access it from my Notion and I have all the information here. And there you go. So that is everything for how I take notes. As you can imagine, there is somewhat of a learning curve when it comes to Notion, but I honestly don't think it's that difficult. It's just a case of learning how to use the blocks. If you want to make it really complex and beautiful, then yeah, it's going to take a bit of work. But just for this simple layout of having a main home page and then having a page for each module, it's very simple. And then you can play around with colors and pictures and get a little bit more complex if you like it. So I recommend trying it out. You don't have to go straight in the deep end and move all your work onto there, but maybe just start with one class see how you like it and maybe it's not for you but it's definitely made me way more excited and motivated to make notes and then to revisit the notes because I just like looking at them and they're easier to read as well so I hope this was motivating to maybe use Notion and also just to start studying in general as we enter this new term please let me know if you'd like perhaps a more in-depth video with my Notion notes or an entire Notion tour and let me know what you think in general. I always love reading your comments. It makes me super, super happy. But for now, have a lovely rest of your day and as usual, happy studying.